I was interested in adopting a dog because I had cats. I had to be careful obviously what dog I had and someone suggested a greyhound. So I contacted my local rehoming centre, met a greyhound, adopted him and it kind of snowballed from there really. I used to help out at the local rehoming centre, um, which is great, they rehome lots of greyhounds, but I felt like I needed to do more. You know, I've been to racing kennels and I'd seen dogs come into the kennels in a state and I started kind of looking into things myself more and I knew I personally had to do more and I couldn't sit on the fence any longer. So I set up Birmingham Greyhound Protection, which is based in the UK and we are a non-profit organisation that's completely against the racing industry and we also campaign against the racing industry. The it's a self-regulated industry the and obviously it relies on the dogs to make a profit. But lots of stuff gets swept under the carpet. The statistics of the injuries isn't made public, neither is the, the fatalities. Now, this isn't hearsay stuff that I go on, it's personal experience. So I've been to lots of trainers' kennels, I've been, you know, they can have kennels in the back garden full of greyhounds that are like 12 years old but they've got little cute fluffy dogs in the house and you see that all the time, they don't necessarily look at greyhounds as pets. It's, it's purely money, you know, it's like if you're at work and you break your pen, then you replace it, you get a new pen and it's the same with a greyhound trainer. A greyhound breaks, breaks its leg, breaks its neck, then they just get another one. They, they are to make money and to earn them a living. And yes, greyhounds love to run, of course they do, you know, all dogs do, but you wouldn't, if you had a pet Labrador, you wouldn't go and run him on a field where there's loads of broken glass, for instance, because he'd get injured. Whereas a greyhound is expected to run in the fog, in the snow, in extreme heat, rain, even on bonfire weekends. Now, if anyone has a dog at home, they know how terrified they are, yet greyhounds are forced to run. When fireworks are going off around them, it's horrendous. Two years ago, I started hearing about greyhounds in China. Um, so I set up Candy Cane Rescue of this year, which is based in China, and that's rescuing greyhounds from the meat trade. The export of racing greyhounds is pretty horrific. It's only come to light over the last couple of years. Greyhounds from Ireland, the UK and Australia are going to places like China where there's no animal welfare law, there's no uh, rehoming programme. The Racing Board of Great Britain and the IGB in Ireland, they could be doing something with regards to giving out penalties and punishment if trainers and owners are seen to be exporting greyhounds. But also, surely it's got to come from the MPs, the government, again, a nation of animal lovers, yet because it's profit and the government makes millions of pounds on tax, it's just brushed under the carpet. We're meant to be proud of the UK and Ireland in how much we love our animals, but yet because greyhounds are for entertainment and for money, it's okay to export them and it's not. You know, greyhounds are dogs. They're they're gentle, they're loyal, you know, and that, that, when you have a greyhound and you actually have them in your home, I think that's why it upsets people so much with how they're treated, because they love their comforts, they love a bed, they love a nice walk, you know, and in, right, I've been to racing kennels where dogs are kept in horrific conditions, you know, they're on shredded newspaper or just tiny little, um, not mats, Last year we got three girls out of, a, they was kept in a pigsty, there was no running water, no electric, you know, they had no bedding, it was disgusting. So every single thing about it I hate and it's wrong and as a nation of animal lovers, you know, the greyhound industry is a national disgrace.